Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. If you watched my last vlog, I mentioned at the very end of it that I got the flu. I'm feeling like a little bit better today. Still not great. I wasn't gonna film today, but I had a really rough night last night before I went to bed. I just got really emotional and I was thinking about my dad and I was thinking about the fact that I had the flu. I was thinking about how like really shitty this year has been thus far for me. Feeling bad for myself and not being in like a healthy mental state. In the last 10 years, I've really tried to change my mindset. I've always felt like I could be negative at times, um, but things in life happened to me and I needed to shift my perspective on them because otherwise I didn't think that I'd be able to get through them. Something that has always helped me get through tough times is perspective on things. Always having like a positive attitude and thinking that something good will come from this and knowing that while I'm going through a shitty time, Time. You know, there's something good that will come of this and there's always something good during it that I can be grateful for. Gratitude, routine, and positive mindset. I guess gratitude and positive mindset can kind of be the same, but I kind of look at them a little bit differently. I think I'm just gonna have a day of pampering and just like trying to like love myself, just getting my head right. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you my morning routine. You guys saw it in my last vlog. I don't know if you like that. I don't know if you don't like that. Let me know down below. Do you like seeing the morning content? My morning routine is really what helps get me through the day. I don't get this routine every day because I do work in an office and I do commute an hour and a half, but the three days that I get to do this are like savory to me. Like uh, they mean, it means a lot and it really does help recharge me. So I thought I'd try something different and walk you through this routine because normally I speed up and you listen to music, but hey, so I'm putting two teaspoons of sugar in my coffee. Honestly, I change up how I do my coffee every day depending upon what we have in the house, but I have been steering clear of oils and gums in my coffee creamers. So today I did sugar and I did a little bit of reduced fat, 2% milk. And I've been making it a point to sip my coffee and think of three things that I'm grateful for each morning just to get my head right. Can I help you? Do you want something? Good morning, my sir. You want some snacks? Do you want some snacks? Hmm? Huh? Do you want this? Yes? Ask for it. Good boy. Do you want this? Yes. All right, you don't need to be aggressive about it. Here you go. Every Friday, I hair oil. So as you can see, I'm removing my hair from a braid. I sleep in a braid every single night just because I find that it helps with breakage. It makes sure that my hair doesn't get knotted and then tug against my pillow and cause me to have little alfalfa sprouts sticking up from the top of my head. I'm using my wet brush to remove any of the knots, which there are not really any, again, because I slept in a braid, but I'm just combing my hair through with my wet brush. After I've made sure there is not a single knot in my hair, I then take a bamboo brush and I brush my hair with this for a good three to five minutes. The stiffness of these bristles helps to promote circulation in the scalp, which helps to promote hair growth. And it also kind of just breaks up any buildup that may be stuck on my scalp, any oils, any product. If I used any product that week, it just helps to break it up so that it's easier to wash out in the shower. Right after I'm done with my bamboo brush, I make sure to clean it because let me tell you something, if I don't clean it right away, I'm just going to throw it back in my little bucket. I'm going to have to clean it the next time and I'm going to get annoyed. So remove them now, be proactive. This way I set myself up for success the next time my hair oil, which will be next Friday. It. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I only do this once a week. You don't want to overdo this. Okay, so for my scalp, and this is the part that's going to promote hair growth, I'm going to use rosemary oil and cut it with jojoba oil. Now, rosemary oil is the ingredient that will promote hair growth. However, it can be really potent. And if you go in with rosemary oil, it could be too much for your scalp and that can actually cause your hair to fall out. So make sure that you are using another oil to cut rosemary oil. I'm just gonna start applying that to my scalp and I kind of just like run it through my scalp. I pick it up with my fingers, run it through. I try to focus this on the areas of my scalp that are thinning out. For me personally, I'm trying to kind of correct my hairline. My hairline has definitely gotten better. I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, but I've been hair oiling for a good three months now. I did it with you guys the first time in a vlog, but this is kind of like my review. I have noticed my hair has grown exponentially. Like I already have naturally long hair. I think a lot of it has to do with genetics. I'm not gonna lie, but my hair has grown really 
healthily, which I think makes all the difference. I do feel like the parts of my hairline that were sparse are starting to fill out. I do have baby hairs that have been sprouting and I'm just really excited to continue doing this. And if not anything, like it really has helped to hydrate my hair. It has helped prevent split ends for me. And it's just like a really nice ritual that I genuinely look forward to every single Friday. So again, this entire time I've just been working that oil concoction into my scalp and really making sure that I've covered all the bases. Now I'm going to take this torture contraption looking device. It is basically a silicone rubber brush and I'm going to massage my scalp. I'm going to massage the oils that I just put into my scalp in circular motions for a good five minutes. And you don't want to press too hard. You really want to lightly push this into the skin. And like I said, this is going to help promote hair growth because you're stimulating the scalp. It's also going to help penetrate that oil a little bit deeper into your scalp. And it's also going to break up any buildup again, like I said before, that may be on your scalp so that when I go and I wash my hair four hours from now, I will remove all the dirt and debris because this has really like churned it up. You know what I'm saying? It's gross. Honestly, once I'm done with this, I do see flakes in my hair, but just know that you're doing a good thing. You're really getting rid of that debris instead of, you know, washing your hair and not getting the most out of each wash. And being someone that washes my hair once, maybe twice a week, I personally think it's important to really get in there and cleanse it all and make sure that I'm getting everything out of my scalp, out of my hair, just because I'm, I don't wash it a lot. And I think that's also key to having healthy hair. Now that I'm done with my torture contraption, I'm gonna go back in with my wet brush and I'm just gonna brush any knots that may have occurred, really focusing on brushing out the ends before brushing the top of my head, just because if you go from the top to the bottom, you can kind of pull your hair out. So brushing out any of the knots on the bottom of my hair before running this brush through my scalp. Now, we don't want to neglect the ends of our hair, so I'm going to take this argan oil, put it in the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and just apply that to the ends of my hair. I'm basically putting this from where my ear is and down towards the ends, and this is going to help hydrate your hair. This makes your hair really soft. It helps to prevent split ends. And I personally think that this step has really made me able to prolong the time between each haircut. Guys, I really don't have a lot of split ends. Like when my hair is dry, it doesn't look frizzy at the bottoms anymore just because I have taken the time to not only do this hair oiling routine, but I put hair oil in every single day. Every night before I go to bed, I put hair oil on the bottoms of my hair, whether it's this argan oil, whether it's coconut oil. I do mix up the oils that I use on the ends of my hair. I add the oil before I go ahead and put my hair in a braid before going to bed, and that has just really made all the difference. So now I'm going to put my hair in a low braid, and I'm going to make sure that you know, my hair isn't pulling up top. You don't want to pull the top of your hair. You never want to put your hair in a tight pony or a tight bun because that tension can cause traction alopecia, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like, because there's so much pressure on your hair, your hairline starts receding because your hair is being pulled back. It's being pulled away from your face. So you always want to make sure that whatever hairstyle you are wearing that has to do with an updo or being pulled back, just make sure it's not too tight on the scalp. And that is something that I tell everyone all the time because again, you can cause premature balding by creating too much tension on your scalp. And I'm just gonna use a hair tie at the bottom of my hair. And then uh, guys, I leave this in for four hours. I put a timer on and I wash my hair four hours later. There's a lot of people online who say that they sleep with oil in their hair, but I just think, I think it's too much. I just think it's too much. Um, four hours is more than enough. And again, you don't wanna clog the pores in your scalp because that can cause hair loss, so. Just food for thought. And then just so you guys can see how I store this, I basically put all of my hair oiling products in this clear bin and then I shove it in my closet. And then every Friday when I do my hair oiling routine, I literally just take this out of my closet and I am set up for success. And I'm gonna make sure to hydrate my lips because this is just something that I try to do all the time because my lips are forever chapped. And honestly, not only just chapped, but I chew them. Um, it's a nervous habit that I'm trying to work on, but for the time being, I'm just masking up my problems with chapstick because sometimes, you know, 
We just gotta fake till we make it. So now I'm gonna move on to my new face. I wanna talk through this really quickly because I showed this a lot in my vlogs and if you haven't seen my tutorial, here's kind of a quick mini tutorial. So I'm applying my Peter Thomas Roth mask using this Eco Tools skincare brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start gliding the new face along my skin. I like to start off with my jawline. So it depends on how much time I have. I typically do my new face three times a week and each session takes me between 20 and 25 minutes just because I cut out the time for it. So right now I think I'm gonna do between eight and 10 glazes over each section. So I'm going one and then the beauty about this is that it the device beeps when you're done with one motion. So then you start all over. So it kind of like times the motion for you. And if you don't know anything about new face, this is basically just working out my muscles in my face. It stimulates the muscles to help tighten the skin. And honestly, the results are instant. If you do this often and keep up with it, you will notice the biggest difference in your face. Like honestly, some weeks when I'm crazy or I'm sad and I just don't have the energy, like I will only do this once a week, but once a week is enough. Like on a date night when Mike and I are going out, I will do my new face and I look like I got 25 hours of sleep. Like it just lifts the whole face. It makes everything firmer. It makes me feel better. I don't know. I just, I feel like this device in and of itself has been the reason why I got Botox once and I have not gotten Botox again. When I tell you it like works out the face, I find like, especially on my forehead, I don't move my forehead as much after using this device. It kind of just like works out any kinks. It works out any tension and it's just amazing. I can't, I can't recommend it enough. And here I'm doing some holds. So I'm just holding the device for about three beeps. Again, the device is beeping. So I'll hold that for three beeps before moving to another hold. And I like to do holds around my mouth and around my brow bone, just anywhere that I feel could use a little lift. And that's personally where I could use a little lift. If you want to see a tutorial, I will link a video up top right here. You can search my channel. I've used this device so many times in so many of my videos. And honestly, I follow new face. They have a YouTube tutorial. I'll link that down below, but that is basically the routine that I follow because you don't need to be meticulous with this. Like you can really make this routine all your own. So long as you're following the beeps, you're going in an upward motion to help lift the face. And there are days where I do this for a good five to 10 minutes where I just do one section two to three times before moving on to the next section. You can customize this depending upon how much time you have. So you don't need to be crazy meticulous and crazy like follow tutorial step by step. Just get an idea of how the device works and then make it your own. Here we go. I made sure to give you guys a before and after. Can you see that, you know, this side of my face is tighter. It's less puffy, especially can you see my jaw and my mouth? It's just like lifted a little bit more. It's subtle, but it really does make all the difference. I got to tell you the day of my wedding, I did my new face for a good 35 40 minutes in the hotel room before I went and got ready with everyone and like my skin had never looked tighter in my life my skin was amazing my skin was glowing I was tight and I, I don't mean to brag and I'm not really even flexing on myself I'm flexing this device like if you don't have it you need it give it a try ask for it for your birthday ask for it for a holiday like I'm telling you it will make you feel like a brand new woman so I bought the Ilios lighting because Tati um, from, from what is her name on YouTube? Tati Beauty? Tati? I don't know. I think it's just Tati now, but you know, Glam Life Guru who's been on uh, YouTube forever and I am like a very big fan. Um, she, she mentioned that these ring lights were like amazing and she has a discount code. I think it's Tati20. I'll link it down below. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I feel like this lighting is pretty good. I don't know, maybe a little brighter. There's different light settings. So right now I have a blend, which is a blend of cool lighting and warm lighting, but I can switch it to warm, which I think is terrible. Um, cool, which is what I normally film with. I don't know. And I can also make the intensity lower and higher. This is the light and look. You hit it on the side. Whoa. For 
for magnification. I can change how bright it is. Or the type of light it is. Pretty cool. And that's what it looks like. Fancy. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I slept late today. Much later than I wanted to sleep, but I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm just going to let myself have it because I'm tired. I have a pounding headache and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to read a chapter of my book and start my day right. I'm reading this book. It's terrible though. And is Pushnell trading up. I love her books. This book is terrible. Just saying. Who knows? Maybe in the end it'll pull through. I don't think it's going to pull through though. I have like 45 pages left. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna lie guys, I feel so anxious today. Mike literally just said to me two minutes ago that I've sighed excessively today, um, which is something that I do because when I have anxiety, I just feel like I can't catch my breath. I don't know what triggered it. I had a dream about my dad last night, but it was a really nice dream. Um, I don't remember much of it, but I remember feeling happy, but I don't know, I just, I was really excited about creating content yesterday. I mean, like so many notes on things that I wanna film. I think I woke up, well, I know that I woke up later than usual today. I woke up at nine. I usually like to wake up between 7.30 and eight. So I feel like that kind of just spiraled into me feeling like I have so much to do and it feeling like almost paralyzing. And I know that I said that I was gonna let it go, but I guess I'm having trouble subconsciously letting it go. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna do my makeup. Mike and I are going to the Short Hills Mall for the hundredth time because finally, fingers crossed that it's right when we get there. But my ring that Mike bought me for Christmas, yes, two months ago, finally came in in my size. So we're gonna go pick it up. I made like a shopping list of things that I wanna buy because retail therapy, I just, that's, that's what I'm chalking it up to. Like I just, I've been in the mood to buy things. Whereas normally I'm cheap when it comes to myself. I'm more than happy to pay for people that I love to buy them things, to pay for things, that kind of stuff. But when it comes to myself, I'm like rather cheap. I'll buy myself a nice handbag here and there. Don't get me wrong. But on the day to day, like I like to save my money, but lately I just want to spend it because it's kind of just like YOLO. I'm going to try and film a shorts video using my phone over here, just because I think like if I do something productive and check something off of this list, I'll feel better. Do you know? My anxiety people out there, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm feeling much better than I was feeling. I filmed a makeup tutorial doing this makeup look, which I think is pretty cool, but it's quick, most importantly. I finally got my ring, which I'm so excited. It's this little panther, can you see him? How cute is he? He finally fits. Very excited to have him in my collection. I already named him, but like I'm not, I'm a weirdo, but like this is what, I, what I've been doing since I got him. I look at him and I pat him on the head and like, I don't know what it is, but it, it makes me calm. It makes me feel like I'm petting my cat. Oh, I really like him, but I named him Patience because something that I definitely need to work on is having patience. I'm a very impatient, impulsive sometimes person, which we're working on in 2023. It took a really long time to get him and it was worth the wait. I love him. So his name is Patience. So you will forever see him on this finger because you guys know. I wear the same jewelry every day and I'm gonna wear him every day. I'm very excited that I finally got my ring. So, so excited, yay. Um, I know materialistic and unimportant in the grand scheme of life, but the little things in life. And you guys know jewelry makes me happy. Also though, we went to the mall yesterday and I was trying to find a dark brown handbag and I can't find one. I wanted to buy the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the Damier, Damier. I don't know how you say that, but you know, like the checker print, the brown checkered print. I went to Louis and I tried it and like, it just, it felt a little juvenile for me. Like I think I can do better, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, but I went to every designer store in the Short Hills Mall just to browse and get an idea. I want like a chocolate brown bag. I went online, looked on Fashion File because you guys know that's where I buy like all my pre-loved designer handbags. And tell me why I did that because I found a Chanel 19. Should I show you? I'll show you. I, I wonder if I can show you. 
I found two of them and I put them both in my cart. They're still both available, but like, I don't wanna spend this much money right now. It's like a dark brown, almost black handbag with a mix of metals, gold and silver. And it's just like, it's calling me and I want her, but I'm trying to be fiscally responsible. So TBD as to whether I get her or not. And again, these are materialistic things. And I'm not gonna lie. This ring will make me happy every day. My jewelry makes me happy every day, but it is a temporary fix. And I think like this is a part of grief that I am personally struggling with. And please let me know if you have struggled with this. I don't know guys. I just, I haven't really purchased a lot of things, which thank God, because I used to be a shopaholic in my like late teens, early twenties. But recently, like retail therapy, it sounds really nice to me. And I don't know why, but in my head, I'm like, once I get this new brown handbag, I'm gonna feel better. But I'm reminding myself it is a temporary fix and that I need to fix the actual issues at hand. So I'm reminding myself that, but let me know. I do believe in retail therapy to an extent, you know? Like this ring is making me happy. It had me like on, on a, if it, I felt a little high yesterday after I got it and I'm still feeling high today, the high will go away. Will I love this ring forever? Yes. Will I feel high about it every day? I'll feel happy. I won't feel high. So that's just something that I'm reminding myself. This woman that I went to high school with watches my vlogs, Brittany, thank you so much. She sent me a ton of different deodorants and I have yet to try them just because everything that happened with my dad and the memorial service and then I got the flu, just there's been a lot and we know there's been a lot, but I haven't had a chance to really try them. And this week I'm gonna try them so stay tuned, I'm gonna let you know my thoughts. But she sent me, so I didn't even realize a company could have such a variety of deodorants, but again, the company is called Mega Babe. They're clean, they're not tested on animals, all great things, and you guys know. I struggle to find a deodorant that can combat my sweaty, disgusting smelliness. Um, and the only one that has worked for me for a few years now is Clinical Strength by Secret. And the deodorant debacle that I got into recently about how I bought a new one and literally a quarter of it was filled with the product and the rest of it was just empty space, I guess because inflation, I don't really know, but Brittany watched my video and she saw that I was struggling and kindly sent me all this stuff. So I'm gonna intro you to all of the different kinds of deodorants that they have. And there's more than this, but one one didn't know that there could be so many, so many deodorant types, which is great because we all have different deodorant needs. I like these tubes. They remind me of that company. Ooh, I forgot the name of it, but I tried a deodorant that didn't work for me, but I'm hopeful that these will work. So she sent me a bunch of them. This one is daily deodorant. Again, no aluminum, clean and clear. This is for beachy pits, which I have beachy pits no matter the season. So I'm excited for this. And I smelled this one. It smells very clean and powdery. It smells, I just got it on my nose. But it smells really good. Smoothie deodorant. It says 100% of proceeds go to abortion rights. Oh my God, I love that. I wonder if it's just this one. This is the only one that I see with a sticker on it, but like, I love that. This is fruit enzyme daily deodorant with bilberry, lemon, and orange. Oh, that does. That smells good. It smells like the summer. I don't know how I feel about my pits smelling like the summer, but I'm, I'm gonna try all of these faux show. And then this is the daily deodorant, Sunny Pits. So I'm imagining this smells like lemons. It smells like lemons. Okay, it does. I think that'll be good for me. And they have these super cute like little icons on them. Not this one, but like this one has like a beach ball with little star eyes. And this one has a freaking lemon and a bikini. I mean, the packaging, the branding, the marketing. I'm really, really into this. And then I also got Rosy Pits, which I do not have Rosy Pits. This smells like my Le Labo perfume. Oh, that smells really good. I don't know if my pits will smell really good from this, but one can hope. The Geodeo, multi-mineral daily deodorant with baking soda, Koalin, don't know how to say that, and zinc oxide. This smells heavy duty. I don't know why. I don't know if this is the most heavy duty, but this smells like this might be my winner. Sweat absorbing minerals, including baking soda, help keep pits dry, naturally scented with eucalyptus, cedar wood, and mint. Okay, those all sound fabulous. There's more. This one looks like a traditional deodorant stick now. This is, oh, this is fabulous. Thigh rescue, anti-friction stick, aloe, pomegranate, and grapeseed oil. So this is for chafing. Another deodorant, the Green Deo, daily deodorant with antioxidants, vitamin E and safflower. Ooh, this smells good too. A little minty, antioxidant rich chlorophyll lends a green hue, naturally scented with lemon and geranium. I have Happy Pits, detoxifying underarm mask. Let's shower and do this later for sure. This way I can prep the pits 
to then get on the right foot for all of these products. And then the Cream Dio, daily deodorant with odor blocking AHAs. Oh. Squeeze on thin layer directly from tube onto clean dry pits. A poop symbol on it. That's cute. I like that. She also sent me hand sanitizing spray, which I love a good hand sanity spray. I'm gonna have to put that in my pocketbook. That will definitely be put to good use. Mega Babe Space Bar, detoxifying charcoal underarm bar. I'm gonna use this in the shower too. Body dust, toe to toe. Oh, top to toe, duh, toe to toe. Powder with lavender, aloe, no talc, no parabens. Don't let body sweat take you down. Absorb sweat in an instant with this ultra fine talc free powder. Made the soothing lavender Soothing lavender. Y'all know I can't talk by now. Aloe and chamomile shake well and apply directly to skin or sprinkle inside shoes or clothes. This is great. This is the most intriguing. I feel like because it's in a pink box and it has cute little clouds all over it. Dust puff. Body powder puff. You know, I just feel like a deodorant haul is so fitting for me. Like I've never felt more seen in an unboxing. Never. Guys, if this changes my scent for the rest of my life in a good way, like this will be the best unbox. <gasps> Stop it right now. Look at this fucking puff. Oh my God, look at this fucking puff. This is epic. Okay, so I'm supposed to use the body dust with this puff and I am gonna puff the shit out of my body. Oh my God, this is so, this is, look at this. I had no idea that there was a puff the size of my face in this box. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, thank you so much, Brittany, if you are watching. I cannot wait for us to get into this and everyone stay tuned for my review. I wanna try this for a good 30 days and then we can talk about it, but we're gonna cleanse our pits later. And I've never been more excited about my pits. I've actually never been excited about my pits. It is a week since I told you we were going to deodorize our pits. I had a really bad week this week. I had a lot of anxiety last weekend. You guys got a glimpse of it. Like I was just really struggling. So here we are, this is life. I went to go upload this video and realized that I didn't deodorize my pits and cleanse them like I said we were going to. And I'm just having a day of pampering. I hair oiled, I new faced, I just washed my face. I'm going to cleanse my pits with you guys. Mike actually bought me a at home laser hair removal. This will be my third time doing it. So I'm gonna pick that up in my next vlog. So if you're interested in that, it's called Five Minute Skin. Watch my next vlog and you will see. The Mega Babe Space Bar Detoxifying Charcoal under I'm Underarm Bar. Can't talk. Lather up and massage into stinky pits, but you can put this anywhere, pits, feet, etc. In a circular motion and leave on for 60 seconds before rinsing. Ooh, it smells like charcoal. It says Mega Babe, super cute. I'm gonna wet this side so that we can like really scrub in there. Circular motions. Sorry, is this like too much? I don't know, you guys are like really in my pits. I need it to be a little bit wetter. For years now, you know, I struggle with a stinky pit. Ooh, it's like tingling. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop now. Alexa, can you put a timer on for 60 seconds? Also, I was watching Basketball Wives with my mom and my sister yesterday. One of the women that's getting a divorce, her husband cheated on her. I don't know their names, but they're all so freaking beautiful. But we were watching it and the girl, like I said, was getting her husband's name removed from her body. And my mom was like, who would ever get someone's name tattooed on their body? And I was like, me? You know I have Michael's name, Alexa Off, tattooed on my ribs, and it's in my grandfather's handwriting. So I was like, Mom, your girl did. And she was like, oh, but that's different. Like, you guys will be together forever. And I'm like, one, I'm very sure that we will be together forever, but two, I'm very sure that the women on Basketball Wives got it with the intention that they were gonna be together also. Um, but the shade was thrown. My mom has a problem with my tattoos. She says that this is a graffiti wrist, so. It's okay. I love them and that's all that matters and it doesn't bother me. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off now. And I guess I should rinse it off with warm water. I'm glad I'm cleaning this bathroom today because I made a mess. First impressions, it definitely like tangled under my arms. They're a little red, but I think that's just because I just scrubbed them and they smell, they smell charcoal-y, which I think is a good thing, as long as they don't smell like BO, right? All right, let's move on to Happy Pits, the detoxifying underarm mask. Leave mask on for five minutes and remove with warm water or cloth. Use one to two times per week. So today is Sunday. I will definitely use this again this week, probably like Wednesday, I would say. And they feel very clean. 
I like that it's a squeezy. <gasps> That's so nice. I thought I was gonna have to like put my hand in here and get all in there, but this is really nice. Oh, M jizzle. All right, we're just going in, apparently. And I'm glad I put a black sports bra on. Do I just stand here like this? Alexa, can you put a timer on for five minutes? I feel like this is promising. Let me know your thoughts down below. I've never used a mask on my pits, but that might be part of my problem. This might be life-changing. I have really high hopes for this. Again, like I'm not gonna know if this is gonna make a difference today, so I will come back to you, but so far I'm enjoying this experience. This has like really been a day of self-love, self-care, self-doing, and I'm into it. And with the summer coming, I'm really hoping we can get the pits in order. It's been five minutes. They definitely dried. I don't think it's like dry completely though, but I don't wanna like risk the chance that my pits are gonna be on fire later. I'm gonna take a removable cotton round. A removable cotton round? A reusable cotton round. You guys know I love these. I bought them on Amazon. Guys, I use these for everything. I think I'm gonna do a video showing you guys what I use them for, but I use these to take off my morning routine in my nighttime routine in the morning to do my new face. Um, I use a little bit of toner on them. I also use them to like switch colors for eyeshadow when I'm doing my makeup. Now I'm using them to cleanse my pits. They're just really good. And the fact that they're reusable makes me feel good about it. So here we go. very charcoal-y. My pits smell very charcoal -y, which isn't a bad thing. I feel like it's a good thing. Um, and this is easier to take off than I thought it was gonna be. Granted, I think a cotton round will do you pretty good. The only thing with these is that they do, that you can wash them and the stains will come out decently, but some of them are stained like forever. So if that bothers you, I don't know what to tell you, but feel a little irritated, but I do think it's just from like all the rubbing and scrubbing. So there's that. And charcoal is very cleansing. So let's throw some deodorant on and then let's call it a day. I'm going to use the Mega Babe, the Geodeo Multi-Mineral Daily Deodorant. This has baking soda, kaolin, and zinc oxide. So I think this is going to act as an antiperspirant for me too. And this smells really, really lovely. I don't know if I should be putting the deodorant on right after, but hey, here we are. It smells really good. The, all these products smell very like clean, which I like. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm very excited to see where this leads us. Fingers crossed, this might be hot girl summer, not stinky girl summer. So let me know what you think down below. Have you tried Mega Babe? Do you have like a deodorant that works for you? Are you a stinky batch like me? I would love to hear. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always. I love you so much and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.